Hello and uh, welcome to Elbow Meadows. Uh, today we're just going to do a little short video on the OSD system that comes with the uh, Tarot. This is kind of a continuation of the uh, Tarot series that we've been doing on the flight controller. And I thought, uh, for those that are probably using the Tarot, they're not going to have much problems uh, in uh, working with the OSD. Uh, but I thought I'd share a couple of tips um, uh, to maybe save some problems down the road. Uh, a couple of the things uh, is that it comes with a Y connector, uh, so it plugs into the LED slash OSD. So uh, make sure that you have the, uh, the Y connector in there for those saying, well, how does this all get connected? Um, the, on the, let me see if I can get a, a video on here. This is still in progress here. On, uh, on the flight controller here, the, there is a plug that is marked LED OSD and when you get the OSD it comes with a Y cable so you kind of have to uh, connect these uh, Y connectors on it. It seemed obvious but I'll be honest with you it didn't say anything in the manual and, and I'm a little bit hesitant of just um, uh, going in with this technology and just guessing at what I'm doing because a voltage in the wrong direction <coughs> can cause a lot of problems if it's a here's a here's a super simple OSD here. It's about six dollars, seven dollars. Um, it only has four connections, so you can pretty much guess where it's going to go. Uh, but you can see I've, I put the markings on there for the colors as I normally do. Uh, and you know what? If I'm out six bucks, I ain't going to cry any any blues on it. However. This is an integral part of the flight controller, and without this, I don't think it's usable. I'll be honest with you. I think it's almost mandatory to have the OSD on if you've looked at my previous videos, uh, especially if you're just calibrating. You have to, when you calibrate it, the OSD is the only tool that's going to tell you, A, you've moved from mode to mode uh, because your switch isn't going to tell you, and the lights aren't going to tell you, so necessary to have. So uh, that's what the Y connector is for. It is polarized. I think if you did put it in the wrong direction, uh, it could cause some problems, but it's polarized, so it will always work right. The Y connector is polarized, so I think you're good to go there. Uh, it has for the uh, it has two cameras uh, that you can put in on this unit, uh, uh, and uh, video one and two, and you can switch from one to the other. That's kind of cool. Um, and on this unit, it has, um, when you have your video in, your two video ins for your video one and video two in also has power out. One's a 12 volt power out and one's a 5 volt power out. Again, I've really marked these up really carefully because I have some cameras that are actually only 5 volt cameras. If I put it into the 12 volt connection, it's going to fizz it. So um, uh, that uh, is uh, something that uh, you want to be careful and, and, and mark. Um, and this is simply the, uh, the feed going to the video transmitter. Uh, I'm not using any of the power connections, so I've just terminated those. Uh, and the 12 volt power coming from the PSU. That was kind of handy, plugged in, correct voltage, kind of handy to have. Um, the software that comes with this program, uh, not much to it. Um, so I mean, I, I, I installed it and I'll show you a bit of the screens and, and what I did with it. The screens are pretty simple. Uh, make sure you connect, and when you say connect, make sure you check in the bottom left to make sure that it's in fact connected. Uh, that's the only way to really tell because it will say connect, disconnect, and you're not connected. But in this case, we're connected fine. Not much you can do with the screen. You can change your uh, distance from the left and right, uh, like you can't add new features. And you can change your default screens of what will come up first. And don't forget to right flash uh, before you do anything. You can also upgrade your firmware on the info page. Uh, you can download right from this site and then do your update. I updated to 1.2. Uh, all in all, I really enjoyed this uh, default screen. Uh, and I've also programmed that on a switch uh, to make it uh, switchable while, while I'm in flight mode, which is also very handy. You can also change your alarm settings at the bottom here as to um, uh, when the screen will start blinking uh, when you get into the warning area. 
Um, there's really not much you can do. Uh, you can upload the firmware, upgrade the firmware. So uh, if you want to do that, you could. Um, I didn't need to do anything other than the fact that I thought, oh, if I go into the software, maybe I can change what, it, what appears on the screen. Uh, really, you can't. It does come with a nice, nice feature is that it has two pre-built-in screens that are switchable on your radio. Uh, that I'm going to use because one is simply uh, a screen image that is on directionality, north, south, east, west, how high you are, what your uh, attitude and altitude is. Kind of handy. So it's nice switching from, hey, this is your voltage in the switch mode you're in, to this is your flying uh, characteristics. I did notice that. And you can change the software so you could default one of them on to start up. So you start up with screen one on or st uh, start up with screen two on. So okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this uh, useful. And like I said, for those of you that are this deep into the, into the tarot system, you pretty much know this. But maybe passing on a few tips uh, is going to help someone if uh, they can't get uh, things going. Like the software works fine. You do have to tinker around with how you turn it on and turn it off in order to get it connected. It uses a cable that comes with the, uh, to, uh, the USB connection. Uh, the, the cable that comes with the Tarot flight controller is the same cable that works with uh, this unit. So uh, you, uh, uh, that was kind of handy and it works straight out of the box. So uh, impressed. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.